So here you can see some thermal bath of the Romans here in Albenga next to the river. I think it's called Chenta or something. Here you can see the whole thing here. Uh, there it is, you know, from the, uh, it's like 2,000 years old. And you can read the whole shit, you know. <clears throat> Bloody Romans, eh? They were pharaohs. They really were. So I was up in the mountains there, you know, somewhere. <clears throat> Bloody church. Now look, there's an Italian beer. It says a six on it, you know. Uh, it's a Bock beer, seven percent or something. And it doesn't, it, it doesn't here. It even has three sixes. One, two, three. See, the three sixes are on it, you know. A uh, Belgian style, uh, a double, a double malted uh, Italian beer. And, um, you know, I, I even heard that the Pope himself, he drinks it because he's a follower of the 666. He's a follower of the B system, as there is all, even the 666 is on the tiara, which is the papal crown, the tiara. So here you got the Pope's, the Pope's own 666 beer, eh? Probably brewed in the Vatican or something, which belongs to the Swiss. The only two flags of which are square flags. I'll show it again. You know, six, six, six. Hello. Hello, Popey Popey. So I'm here in a, uh, it's a, a heavy metal group from Slovenia called, uh, hi guys. Hello. It's called Canyon Observer. They took me hitchhiking. There's one in the back hiding. <laughs> Fantastic guys. Interesting music. Maybe I'll use it for my YouTube channel. So, Canyon Observer from Slovenia. That's from Yugoslavia. Yeah. yeah thank, you. Thank, thank, thank you for taking me hitchhiking, guys. No problem. I like heavy metal. Right. You should use my information for a uh, for a song. We will definitely. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. So <laughs> what, what, watch the Swiss beast. You will be the first one in the world who is doing that. All right. For a better world. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 So the guys of Canyon Observer, they gave me their CD, a null or null, with uh, songs like. Uh, Lacerations, well that's quite promising. <laughs> Mirrors, entities, oh that's my stuff. So Canyon Observer, you know, but um, I'm more like a sort of a pharaoh observer, you know. There they are. Let's go and have a look, pharaohs. The synchronicity, they brought me here. They would have brought me all the way to the petrol station, really nice guys, but I said no, nah, no, nah, the last the last mile, I can do it on foot, eh? Oh, I'm back to being in France, you know, here I can sleep everywhere. In Italy, it was quite difficult. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful landscape, look at that. Wow. A lot of canyons to observe here. Hey. Canyon Observer. If I got my video editor working and then have a place, I'll try to. They told me I can use your music. Oh. So, here is the castle here. Wonder what kind of a castle that is. No, oh, that's not original. So, I don't think that's a real old castle either. No. Anyway, I was looking for my petrol station. They're already coming and looking for me. So that's the castle, you know. Yeah. So the castle is from 1800. You know, it's not very much to see actually. And I don't want to go digging around. So there's not really much to see. 
back in France, found myself a really beautiful nice spot here. Beautiful. Coming from Italy. There's a lot of rabbits here. And uh, rural France. Find a lot more space here. Yesterday I had a conversation uh, for about an hour, you know, I, uh, with the eight French, uh, eight or nine French uh, customs officers with assault rifles and everything and ballistical jackets. And they were like, uh, uh, jaw dropping, you know, uh, hearing what I want to say. They were really listening for an hour and they were really glad I, I told them all this about the enemy within. It was a fantastic moment. Well, I didn't dare to ask them to film them because I already did a couple of times with police officers and they never liked that, so I didn't. Yeah, well, I was just looking at this Italian milk bottle in which I put my own brew. No, I didn't piss in it. And um, my eye, my eye was caught by this funny square here. So why, you know, why, what, 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 what is this? Well, it is a square. So it's a concept of four, right? And it's a G, like in between the square and compass. But the G looks very much like a nine. It's a funny G. It's a granarolo, you know. So, because there were the nine original Templars and the nine original Pharaonic gods. So here's the concept of four. And I was looking, where's the concept of three? Well, there it is. In Italy, they call it il tricolore, the three colors. And it's got red and white for the, the Pharaonic red in the White House. Green, well, I have absolutely no idea. It looks a little bit like blue. Then I saw here, I was just looking around a little bit and where I'm staying, I've been staying here like for a couple of weeks in the mountains. It's a German electronics company in red and white, of course. And here another, I think it's also German. They make a lot of like glue and, and stuff, you know. Tesa. You know, red and white for the for the pharaonic, the red house and the and the, and the white house. And if you scratch the layer off, as you as you do as as you can do here, you know, scratch the layer off. What do you get? You know, then it's not so nice anymore. You get war. They kill us. You know. So on on top of it, you know, you don't see it. It's nice and red and white. You know, Prince William smiling through his teeth. Oh, he's got so beautiful teeth, eh? And Prince Harry, well, they, 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 they've killed off Ghanis and children by the dozen, you know, like hunting foxes. So if you scratch the layer off, you get war. Like Prince William and Harry killing people in Afghanistan and I Iraq, you know. Like, uh, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, like, oh, you know, like before, you know, killing some Germans and their children, you know. Well, now we know the Germans are not the enemy, you know. So... This one here is a is a salt, you know. You yeah, see the salt opener. I think it's salt or what is no, it's for making a soup, a brew. You know, it's in an oval, and the sun has seven rays. There are seven. One is a bit hidden. I don't know why. You know, why they hide it a little bit? Because they hide things. You know, so that's three and four, as on the Statue of Liberty, and it said Porta del Sole. It means the gate to the sun. Why do you need a gate to the sun for, for a soup? Come on. It's just a soup, you know, that's the earth, you know, it's some veggies and whatever, garlic. Why, 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 why do you need a, a gate to the, to the sun for? What is it, a star gate, a sun gate? Well, you know, they are sun worshippers, you know, with the number seven for the, so there's also the concept of three and the concept of four in it here. So it's everywhere you look, you know, I, sh I should go into a supermarket and, and just film it all once. I'll, I'll do it one day for you, hey? Eh? So, well, hallelujah, have fun, hey? Eh? I'm here in the south of France next to uh, Toulouse. And look what I see here, look. That's what I call a hornet's nest. Wow, man. Look at that. I think it's a hornet. 
and don't be afraid of them. At least, you know, it's a protected species here in, the, in Europe. Now their cousins are there. And uh, the European hornets, um, well hornets are very useful because they kill the, uh, the parasites in the fruits and the, the insects in the fruits. And the sting of a European hornet is less uh, severe than one of a, uh, a wasp or a bee. I'm not talking about the Japanese hornet because that's supposed to be very awful. But the European hornet, they're not aggressive. They are, you know, wow, amazing. Look at that. So they're protected, but no, most people don't even know it, I think. I hope this farmer knows it. Very, very useful animals. So yesterday this, I wanted, it was cold, minus, you know, I wanted Celsius, I wanted to... I put on my jacket and the zipper broke, yeah? And there's a little, there's a little trick, you can give it a double a lifespan, you know? You take this here, you know, where it holds together, this here, you know, I don't know if you can see it all, yeah, here. And you take a plier, like here, tuck, and you push it together. I did it here too, like two weeks ago, with these ones here. I push it together, like, you know, like here. Push these, you take a plier, I've got a nice leatherman here, foldable thing. And you put the plier on it here, there. And you must be careful that it doesn't break. And then it pushes nice, you know, the zipper, the two parts. It pushes it nice together again, you know. And you, you really give it a double lifespan, you know. I don't have an extra zipper if I had to put a new one in there. It's, you know, I'm quite lost, you know, all the cold coming in there, you know. So it's a little trick. Take a little plier. Yeah. Well, it's actually, it's, it's not a leather man, it's a zipper man, eh? Oh, okay. Well, I, uh, yeah. Well, there's also another zipper man. You know, after a lot of beer, you need to get your zipper man out, you know. But, okay, it's another story. Oh, I like this one better, you know. It's, it's biological stuff. Yeah, look. So this is not a Roman. It looks more like an Indian. It doesn't have a saddle. Alcianero. I don't know what Alcia means. But you look at the spare, you know, it's like a, a it's, it's a she, I think. And um, it's a girly. And she's having a spear, you know, so it's, not, so it's not a black knight, you know, it looks like, it looks like us, you know, the Celts, the Germanic, it looks like us. It's a nice way of depicting a horse, yeah. So, this is biological, it's all biological grain, so they grow it all in, it, in, in here, Italy. So, but, you know, why, why do you have to call it biological, you know, it, it should be normal, right? And of course, biological food is a, it's a billion dollar business also. You know, how many stars are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Oh, looks weird. Okay, this is the, uh, this is official, right? The official, the, you know, European community or whatever. Uh, here it is again. You know, we even have to protect our own food, eh? Because, you know, I have to say it's biological, you know? Like the original form or something, you know? And put a Celtic warrior. Or it looks like Boudicca. Uh, this must be Boudicca. So a friend here took me hitchhiking. He gave me a lot of pâté and a, a wine and all that. You know, they hardly ever open their doors, but they're always very, you know, free in giving food or, you know, feed you or take your hitchhiking, it's quite okay. So these are the Pyrenees. Just standing there, you know, somebody probably jumped down it. It's next to it. Oh, I can't see it. Uh, where are they? What else are these greens? Yeah. She had enough of it. So, Pharaoh, I mean, uh, Foie, 
and this is a monument of the of the dead here you know next to our you know so on top you see the concept of three the three arches because on top that's them it's the hierarchy you know the 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 compass it's them so there must be was well, he standing on, on a square maybe that's the concept of four that's us we died there's even a templus cross there uh templus v sorry i'm here in foie and there's the pyrenees there oh, yeah. In January. So oh, here you see the Templars V, that's what we died for, you know, deportation, everything. We trust the government and they let us be deported. So there's a square underneath here, so you know we all died, you know, that's us, that's a square. This one here, she's standing on a square. So there's the concept of four down here, that's us, it's always down. And up there there's a concept of three, that's them. Oh. Our masters so I just met a historian here he said the first tower it's a different arch ar architecture is the 13th century as I told you there are none of them for before the year 1000 the second tower 15th century and the third tower 19th century and it was um, by the Prince of Andor Andorra you know it's a uh, it's not very far from here it's a it's a principality it's a country of its own like monaco with you know very low taxes you know tax evasion all that and uh yeah and symbolically so they they must have you know collaborated with the templars you know that they let them live you know <laughs> they're still there all these principalities there no doubt as in monaco it's all red and white they had a swiss guard you know i and uh yeah oh, i forgot it you see it's very well protected it's just as today you know with the secret service and with their helicopters and you know you, you they're untouchable you can't reach them you know and there you can see i don't know there's a pyramid there i have to walk through all this here uh, uh, it's just next to it. it's probably also government it's all government of course yeah it's pyramid hey what more shall i say pharaohs next to the castle so i'm here in the tourist information here a lot of kids, you know, connecting with the internet. I'm here. A lot of nights here. I think it's cool, eh? Our masters. Oh, you can see the castle from another angle. You know how they dominated it all, you know? And um, actually, that building down there, that could be very interesting. It's always down the castle, you know, no, nobody can get up there, you know. They thought about everything, they're paranoid, like today, you know, like, if you, if you look at the president, you come with the secret service, and that's me hitchhiking. All the French, he's caught, there's not many people passing by, you know. There are the mountains, the Pyrenees. Uh, they dominated that it all, like today, it's going on for bloody 2,000 years in Europe. So we have to get them out now, you know? And those bloody yellow jackets, they don't understand the bloody thing, you know? They don't even want to. They're so stupid. And the next time I'm gonna tell them that's so stupid, you know? But they, they don't do it, they wouldn't even watch the film. At least Roseanne Barr, she's in intelligent. She's really intelligent. We Skype together. What an intelligent woman, eh? Look, here's the Lord, the Pharaoh, the Lord of the castle here. Yeah. Oh, there's funny things here. And here's, a, here's the French girl, you know, the European. Oh, you raped me, the bastard in this castle. You raped me. You got under my skirt, you bloody raped me. Oh, you want more? Oh, he raped me. Oh, he raped me. Now I've got the Pharaonic genetics in my blood. Oh, what am I going to do, you know? So Saint Giron, nice little river. Here. Oh, it's warmer here than in on the mountain where I was before. Yeah. Nice. 
Look at that. And these days, you know, we, we could still depend on our women. Look at that. You know, that she, she, would, she would protect our backs, eh? Wow. Fantastic. Alce Nero. Ah, Nero, that's masculine. If it was a woman, it was, it was Nera, I think. Eh? So it's a dude after all. Well, they, they used to have long hair in these days. Just like me. Yeah. Yeah, look, white pyramids in front of the house. The White House, hey? Eh? The White House. They actually paint them, paint them white. Why, why not keep it all yellow, right? <laughs> it's not the Red House, it's the White House. The New World Order. Oh, there they are. They're living here. So a monument for the dead in all these wars, you know, in saint Giron. You see all the Templars V's here? It's all over. Look at that. Look at that. There are three, six. Three on each side, six uh, like helmets. Yeah, so you see all the Templar V's. Citroën, it's also the symbol of Apis here. The bull, the bull is the protection from Egypt. Of Egypt, so that means you know we die, hey, eh? and they are a lot safer because we all die. Hey, you see the Templar dude, hey, right? you see it's a monk. There you go. Templars, they're behind all these wars, and we die. Pharaohs. Weird thing on top there. Oh, yeah. Like a twisted dick. So actually, it's not six. It's two times three. So there's the concept of three. You know, the army. It's them. And you see this thing here? It has four pillars all around. So where the guy is standing, there's one pillar. And there are two like here on each side. So that's the concept of four. That's us dying. Right? And they sort of pray for us. Well, get out of here. Nobody's praying for us. They're praying, they're praying for our death. You know, it all says you know, there's the, the architect of this thing and all the free you look it up he's a Freemason you know, it always on you got something with Rome it's all talking about the chateau castle I don't even have to read it you know all know it eh? so I show you the um, there's four pillars concept of four folks actually it should be the other way around I mean this is like Templars here and it should be the concept of three and where the soldiers are that's us dying it should be the concept of four so maybe somebody can explain that to me I don't really see that look on his on his wooden shoes here you know this nice marching you know it goes duck 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 oh one a two a two a three I'll pick up your feet you know You know, it looks like an ice cream, you see, it's all, it's twisted, because history is twisted. It's all twisted. Why don't, why don't make it twisted? Why don't make the whole thing twisted, eh? Twisted history. It's all a lie. A lie about everything. Die for them, you know. Concept of four. Yeah. And I'm the concept of, um... I'll get you, you know? That's the concept of, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> well, you tell me. <laughs> what kind of a concept I am? Probably a, uh, a concept they never thought about, you know? Like popping up in history, getting them. That's my concept. Uh, that's a concept like, I know you've twisted history, eh? Okay, that's my concept. I know you've twisted history. So here are some very rare pictures of uh, Octagon in 1918. You can see where Darth Vader, where he got his helmet from, eh? I tell you, Hollywood is not Jewish. Hollywood is Octagon. It's Knights Templars. Here too, 1918. I'll explain you what they are transporting here. Very rare pictures. You say it's Switzerland. Yeah, you see them all there. 1918. European people were dying by the millions. Swissy 
On the contrary, he's drinking a cup of coffee. Here, see? And they're transporting goods, looted goods. So here again, the, the Phoenix, the Grim Bergen, with the Swiss cross, meaning the Grim Mountains, well I already explained that to you. They are really very multinational as the Knights Templars, as you can see here, they're being produced everywhere. And in the monastery they use the Phoenix, as they say, it's a... Uh, the, the Primontre Laxistertian Monastery, and they rose again, like the Phoenix, here. Yeah. And here too. And here you see some of the Swiss Grim Mountains. This one is called uh, Matterhorn. See, very famous. The Grim Mountains, or Le Montfort, the Strong Mountains, as Simon de Montfort. Uh, Jungfrau, in the canton of Bern. Yeah. And this is in Valais, Valis. And in Valis there is a... Um, the only museum in the world of the uh, the Swiss uh, the Pope's guard the, the Swiss guard of the Pope. Here on the other side of the matches here, so you see the other side and this one too. You can see there is the concept of four, which is a square in red for the old world order. The frame, you know, where where it's all come from, it's from the old world order. Inside is white for the new world order. Uh, the concept of four. There are four corners in it. Very important. So this represents the square of the the Freemasons. And here there are three stars, three pentagrams for the concept of three, for the compass. Because with the compass, which stands at 60 degrees, you can make a triangle, which is the side of the pyramid. And it, it, it's the concept of three. It has three corners or it has uh, three sides and this one has four corners or four sides I repeat it many people told me I shouldn't repeat other ones told me please do repeat you know and uh, of course I repeat not because I want to repeat but there are people who watch this video for the first time and they haven't seen the other videos and three plus seven that makes uh, three plus four makes seven and the G in between the square and compass is by accident the seventh letter in the alphabet. Uh, feudal. Oh, it almost sounds like feudal. It says Swiss matches. Dot uh, C eight is Switzerland. You see the Knights Templar here on the horse, nineteen eighteen. And I'll explain these later in my next video because this is just after the uh, the October Revolution in 1917 in um, in Russia and the Swiss did it. You know, here it says it's a botanical garden, the botanic garden in Bern. Hey Swiss, hey, hey, I know what you're doing. Hey, looting looting goods again, hey. You Darth Vader, you are. You know, Darth Vader all over. Um, the buildings are still there, you know. Only the street has been. Uh, yeah, enjoying still enjoying your coffee. Well, it won't be long anymore, eh? You know, when I filmed the uh, Swiss Grim Mountains. Here, yeah. or the strong mountains, Le Simon de Montfort, templates where the templates went to. I only saw it, you know, when I imported it in my computer and I in my PC, and I saw it like uh, on the on the big screen, you know. So first, I told you there's the concept of four, the uh, the square, the red square for the old world order, and the first thing. There are seven, uh, the, the, the black flames, they have seven things because four, the concept of four for the square and the concept of three, the three pentagrams, uh, all together it makes seven, like the G. 
because there are four corners here in the square or four sides and uh, with the uh, the compass you can make a triangle which is a concept of three so but the other thing I you know I, I only saw it you know was this you see in black and white you can see that magic symbol again Uh, which I filmed in my film, the, the, um, the neutral base of the master race on my channel, Gats of Gats. You know, and I filmed it on the, in that creepy Templar's commandery in 3D. And I found it at the, um, at the factory, in front of a factory. I think it was an American factory in, uh, in France. So here is that symbol, you see? We see that everywhere, because with this you can make a lot of secret symbols. So there it is again. There it is. Mm -mm. I've got a slow card. I'm going to keep my faster card for the, you know, some all the important things. Or, oh, I mean outside when it's, get, when it's getting dark. So there's that symbol, eh? The neutral base of the master race. You know, almost everywhere you go in France is like this. Snow, mountains, you know. It's not at all the Eiffel Tower, Paris, the Mediterranean beaches. No! It's not at all. It's like this. Look at that. You guys ever seen a church like this? Whoa, it's the 12th century, in the middle of the mountains here, it's all snowy, cold. I'm really in the south of France, I'm more south than these, hey? 12th century, as I told you, these blokes, they came all around like after, there's nothing before the, the, uh, the year 1000, these pharaohs, hey? But snow. Look at the door. It's probably a thousand years old, eh? Look at that. Massive. Oh, can't get it open. If I push, if I push with my 30 kilo burger, you know, it will open up, but oh, never mind. Yeah. Ah, mostly. Ah. Ah, this, this is a newer door. And it's quite interesting, in the south they also, yeah, oh never mind, oh, look at this, a thousand years old, eh? Yeah, would be, ah, oh, so, so interesting. Uh, yeah, look, Suisse, hello Suisse, are you here too? Templars, eh? So you see, got the world domination all over eh? here, five times, or three times here. And you see these two pillars there, yeah? one here, and one there. Why? You know, there's nothing. It's like in a Freemason lodge, eh? Yashim and Boaz. Welcome in my little church, eh? Welcome! We're going to do a ceremony. Yeah. All Freemasons, Jesuit, Templars, two pillars, eh? Now that's what I'm doing basically. I'm, I'm scratching the surface off, you know, the nice surface. And what you see then, it's not very nice at all, you know. And here it even says, you know, it says here, Insect Stop, you know, the same brand. To them, we're just, we're merely insects. You know, they shoot us to pieces and all these world wars and our children, everything. We're just insects to them. It even says here, they even, you know, the whole logo, it says it as well, you know. Insects, stop. So I say again, I... Hallelujah! Keep on believing that the Lord will save you and don't do anything, you know, turn your other cheek. You know, 
God will solve all the problems. Eh? Well, I believe in the creation, but you know, if you believe in God, then we are his servants. He's not our servants. He won't solve our problems. We have to do it ourselves, you know. And if I would be the God, you know, I wouldn't like anybody who would just say, you know, you know I'm not going to do anything, you know, for this earth and for our, you know, for our fellow human beings. So I say, hallelujah, you know, do it yourself. You know, somebody having my initials on the car. Sean Ross. Oh, that's nice letters, eh? What kind of a tank is that? Yeah, look, Pharaoh in other castle in saint Ligier, which is next to uh, saint Gion. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands of castles. They're, <coughs> sometimes they're like two or three in one little village, you know? Yeah, look, Aldi, Germans. Yeah, you got the best for your money. That, that's really three times as expensive, the French supermarket. Yeah, well, anyway, pharaohs, eh? Everywhere. Yeah. Our masters, always on the hill, eh? Raping our women. Unreachable, like the guys in the helicopter nowadays, you know, Air Force One. Same shit happening. Oh, there's my petrol station. There. And there, the big one there. It's always amazing completely different vegetation in the south of France. <laughs>